You may have seen this fish before. It has been on a lot of people, S phones, as a screensaver. Or maybe UV even had it as a pet. But what if I told you that this little guy isn't actually a fish at all? Well, it is a fish, but it's not supposed to look like that. In fact, that fish is supposed to look like this. Welcome back to my channel. Today, we're talking about the bl Now, this fish actually belongs to a group of fish called the angler fish. And I know what you're thinking. Ooh, like the angler fish from that movie with the giant tooth and the glowing lure. Well, yes, but also no. You see, there are hundreds of different types of angler fish and they all do have that giant tooth in the front, which they use to lure their prey. But most of them don't have the glowing light. Instead, they just kind of sit on the seafloor and wait for unsuspecting prey to swim by. Now, the reason why this fish has gotten so popular is because of this face. This is a result of this fish being brought up from very high pressure at the bottom of the ocean. Too much lower pressure at the top of the ocean. The reason why it looks so weird is because its skull and its jaws have expanded pushing its eyes outwards. And it's not the only fish that gets like this. Another fish that has experienced something similar is the blobfish, which you can tell from the name is related to the blob. The scientific name for this fish is Cycrolutes marcetus, which translates roughly to cold body, melting flesh. And I think that's pretty fitting. When this fish is deep down in its natural habitat, it has a normal looking fish face. However, when it is brought up to the surface, its head becomes swollen and it becomes basically this big, like gray, pink blob. So, how do these fish live? I mean, if they're constantly being hunted by fish that want to eat their delicious meat, how come they aren't extinct? Well, one reason could be that they have such a low metabolism that they do one need to move around very much to survive. Some scientists estimate that this fish has a metabolic rate that is 20 times slower than your average fish. This means that they don't need to eat very often, which means that they don't need to expend a lot of energy. But it gets even weirder. This fish also has no air bladder. Normally, fish use their air bladders to help them control their buoyancy, which basically means that they can use their air bladders to control whether or not they sink or float. However, our fish friend here has no air bladder. So how does it control whether it sinks or floats? Well, it doesn't. You see, this fish is always negatively buoyant, meaning that it will always sink. So it has basically given up on ever leaving the seafloor. It literally just sits there all day and eats whatever small, unfortunate creature wanders past it. So this fish might not be able to defend itself from predators, but it does have one advantage over them. Even though some fish might be willing to risk eating this fish because it probably tastes good, many fish won't take the chance. Why? Well, because this fish has a poison in its meat. It's not enough to kill a human, but it is enough to make a fish very sick and possibly even go blind. So most fish will avoid it. And that is why the blobfish is one of the ugliest yet most successful fish in the world. But do you think it's really ugly? Maybe you like the way it looks. Maybe you think it's cute. Personally, I think it looks like a grumpy potato. But you can let me know what you think in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like. If you want to see more videos like this, stay tuned for more updates. Thanks for watching. See ya.